Hey guys! <laughs> I just realized I was holding my fork like. Yeah, you just stab somebody. Like. What's up, guys? Today we are at home. We're gonna try something that we found at the local Walmart. Um, Since most people have those. Yeah, it's the Guy Fieri. See it. Flavor Town. <laughs> I was expecting you to say, Gaffieri, because yeah. I don't actually know how to pronounce his yeah. last name. But that's what we're trying. Yeah. So these are frozen <laughs> meals. They all cost $5.94 a piece. So six bucks. For single servings. They, as you can see, don't look a whole lot like what the pictures on the box <laughs> looks. They do uh, not. No. First up, we've got the sweet and sour pork bowl. It looks nothing like the picture. Sloppy Joe mac and cheese. Nothing like the picture. Getting to see a trend here. Chicken enchilada bowl. Uh, that one's probably the closest. And then lasagna with pepperoni marinara sauce. Yeah, not so much. So, so far, none of them look like the picture. Hopefully they taste better than they look. They have... Um, Chef-inspired meals from Guy Fieri, Gordon Ramsay, from Andrew Zimmern, and from... Hey, it's Cartier Brown. Who we don't really know, but uh, yeah. they're all made by the same company, so I'm going to guess that they all taste exactly the same. Right. Um, we'll try now. So, Are you done talking so I can eat? Yeah. I'm worried this is all gonna get cold. Yeah, it's already okay. cold. Enough. Yeah, so this is the uh, cheesy lasagna with pepperoni and marinara sauce. Mini lasagna noodles and a traditional marinara sauce dressed up with a pepperoni twist and topped with mozzarella. Dressed up. It doesn't look that way. It does not look dressed up. Are we gonna bite at the same time? Yeah, so it'll I'm gonna re stir it. Yeah, yeah, give it a stir. I can see that there is at least one pepperoni we'll in there. Make sure you get that since pepperonis so. are your favorite. It definitely is. So, the other trick of cooking all of these, because you microwave them and uh, all for different times, but for like a considerable amount of time, like five, six minutes each. Mm, yeah. Like that's yeah. a good amount of time to microwave something, I feel like. So like if you're on a lunch break and you only have half an hour, like that's most it's of your break. It's faster than going taken, to McDonald's, but. I suppose. It tastes exactly like what I thought it was gonna taste yeah, like. Yeah, exactly like I thought it would taste like. It's fine. It tastes like the hamburger helper lasagna. Mm-hmm. Um, like Which, really, I mean, I've had worse, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Yeah, just about every microwave meal is what it tastes yeah. like. It's not great, but it's mm -mm. good-ish. There are a lot more pepperonis than I thought. A lot more pepperoni than meets the eye. That's true. Would you say that they're dressed up? <laughs> yeah, I would. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you can still see this or not from the way the camera is pointed, but... Um, not this. Yeah, it's... Like I had Maybe taste. if you didn't have to stir it, but they tell you to stir the it. The issue that I have with it is that the price feels like it's it's almost $6 it's for steep. that is like, I mean, granted, you go to Taco Bell, you're going to spend a lot more than that for a meal, but it's true. for a frozen meal, they are price-wise, it sucks. So that's 440 calories. That's a lot of calories. Yes. For that little bowl, though, you can eat a can of chunky soup for like 250 calories and it fills it you up. I feel like it'll probably fill up better than these. Okay, next is the cheesy chicken enchilada bowl, which is packed with flavor. This spicy rojo enchilada bowl is full of tender pulled chicken and crunchy tortilla strips topped with melty cheese. We don't get to know what kind of cheese, yeah. which I feel like that's kind of weird, like so descriptive in the First of cheese. all, there's not any pulled chicken in here it's all just chopped up little chunks of chicken yeah um not pulled. that one is very much coagulated since we, since <laughs> was we this second it. uh no that was the this last was one last we oh but we geez. never stirred it afterwards so <laughs> it's uh this one might be the worst purely because you didn't stir it after well, oh, i didn't want to mess it up because it only yeah was the it only actually one looked, looked like, like the was. picture so just get into it it's probably going to be atrocious yeah i just like <laughs> The old chicken skin. Yeah, chicken skin is something to say. Okay, is there rice in there? Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's just yeah. pulled chicken. Okay, yeah. sorry, I wanted to try to get everything. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> I 
I like that one a lot better than I thought yeah, it would. Yeah, texture-wise, it's not great, but taste-wise, it's really good. Which I think, again, if we had maybe stirred it up right away. I think it's just because of all the tortilla strips in there that they say are crunchy tortilla strips. No. As soon as they cook, they just turn to, like, mm -hmm. masa. I mean, they're, they're just kind of, it's kind of like it's a corn. cornbready. Yeah. Consistency. Which is fine because, like, I mean, if you make any kind of a casserole or anything at all that has chips, tortilla strips in it, the night before, yeah. when you reheat it, it's going to be like this Frito good. taco pie. Mm -hmm. So, what would you rate this one? We didn't rate the first one. We didn't? No. Oh. On a one to ten. Oh, I started talking and yeah. we got Overall, distracted. Overall, on the, on the lasagna pepperoni, I would say seven. Really? I was going to go five or six. Really? I would go closer to seven or eight with this one. The chicken is the worst part of that one. It's really dry and um, I think I just might chewy. be feeling that way because it's the only chicken that we have. The rest are all kind of one note. Hey, like this video. You know you do. Make sure to uh, subscribe if you don't already. Give us a little comment. We love the feedback. Brent reads them all. He responds to them all, but give it a like. All right, so the next one we've got here is the Sloppy Joe Mac and Cheese. It says it's a true <laughs> fusion of American classics. Mac and cheese and sloppy joe. Creamy mac and cheese topped with nostalgic, meaty, sloppy joe sauce. It does not say that. It sloppy, does. meaty. There is nothing no. uh, resembling each other. In and that's that pretty at all. typical for frozen meals, yeah. but it, like. That looks like. This is orange. <laughs> hamburger helper for shizzle. And this one was number two that you cooked, right? You cooked them um, in almost this yeah. order, right? Yeah. Or no, pepperoni was first. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm just, I feel like that's part of the things to consider when considering the but we taste. we did put these into the oven yeah, after to they keep were them done to keep warm. them warm. So it wasn't like we just left them out on the counter and yeah. they got to be trash. So the meat's just... You, come on. I was looking it. for meat. Here, there's a little one little nugget of meat Thank right there. Thank you. You're welcome. Fully loaded. Dot. What? What the hell are you talking about? That tastes like a Super Bowl party. Yeah, <laughs> like the cheese dip that you make yeah. in a crock pot, which is good. It's cheesy. It doesn't have a whole lot. It, I mean, it doesn't have any sloppy Joe flavor to mm -mm. it. It's just kind no. of a. It's exactly that meat dip. Yeah, whatever you it call that Velveeta kind of like, meat dip. Like I make it with Velveeta cheese and hamburger and salsa and kind of mix it all together. That's what this. It's a pretty like. common Midwestern dip, yeah. I think. It's not bad at all. It's just not. Did you say descript? I don't care. Oh, okay. Yeah. It does have a little, like, I got one little spice kick right one there. One little nugget of spice. Mm -hmm. I don't I know would if say it's supposed to or not. Of the three so far, that one is probably the weakest of them, in my opinion. Um, yeah. It's still fine. I mean, it's I've had way worse frozen meals before. Oh, yeah. These are so kind far, of surprising so far. I've had worse yeah. in my life. But I also grew up super poor, so it was like, is it the Michelinas that was like a dollar? <laughs> mm -hmm. And you got the meat pasta sauce. And so, like, that was what I was used to eating as my yeah. lunch for a long time. Or wheels and cheese, <laughs> which I will still to this day say is the best macaroni and cheese. Which is and not at all. Here is maybe the most disgusting Disappointing, of like looking one. Are those supposed to be pineapples? Yeah. Well, read the description, I so guess. So this is the sweet and sour pork bowl. This is no need for takeout. Juicy tender pork and sweet pieces of pineapple sit atop white rice with mm. the perfect sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> so that looks like dog food. Um, oh, gosh. Sorry, Lucy, you may eat this after all. Can dogs have pineapple? Well, I don't know. Alexa, can dogs have pineapple? Pineapple is considered safe for dogs if given in moderation. Alexa, However, stop. I don't. Nope. Alexa, stop. That's what you get. I'm not going to check with my vet. She's like 900 years old, so she gets what she gets. As long as it's not going to kill her or give her diarrhea, she gets it. Okay. So, first of all, just looking at it, yeah, those looks, pineapple actually look yellow. There are some this pineapple in there. all just looks see. like the exact same color. Mm -hmm. Tastes better than it looks. Yeah, you did it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually good. It tastes so much better than it, it looks. It looks awful, but it tastes really mm -hmm. good, actually. So The only thing I would say, that pork kind of has a, hmm, at the back end, kind of a not so good taste that I don't like. I don't taste anything weird about it. I don't know. And maybe the pineapple, because sometimes canned pineapple, I feel like, has like a tinny taste. And you know that's not fresh pineapple yeah. in there. 
So essentially we're just looking at rice and pulled pork and mm -hmm. some pineapple and a sauce that kind of just all melds into one mm -hmm. thing. There's no discernible sauce in there. Mm -mm. I, I think it's good though. I like it. It needs some sort of crunch factor. But yeah. If you've been watching the show at all, you know I'm a texture eater. You know I need crunch. I would add peanuts or something to yeah, that. Or for sure. The um, not the wonton strips. What am I thinking of? The little noodles. What are those called? Chow mein noodles. Chow mein noodles. So now that we've finished all of these, mm -hmm. let's go down the line, mm -hmm. give them a rating, decide which ones we like the best, which ones we like the worst, and if any of them are worth buying. So you want to start down there? So we'll do like each one. Mm -hmm. So this one, I would say six out of ten, not worth buying for the price of six dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I would think? I would give it. Eh, I'll say a seven on that one. I kind of like that. It reminded me of Hamburger Helper, but you can get a pound of hamburger and a hamburger helper mix and make like six, well, four servings yeah. of hamburger helper for that same price. Um, we so, could both eat it for yeah. dinner and then I could eat it for lunch a couple times. Yeah. So, so probably not worth it price wise. You're on that paying one. for the convenience fee yeah. at that point. So, next, yeah. chicken enchilada bowl. Um, this one I would probably give more like an eight out of ten. I'll give it all in another seven. I mean, another the taste seven. is probably a little bit better than, than the lasagna, but the texture of it is not great, mm -hmm. so. I would say yes for this one, just because enchiladas, the cost to make enchiladas, <laughs> I feel like is really, really yeah. high. And you get so many servings out of enchiladas that it's really hard to eat it all before you waste yeah. money. So. That one, you could you could theoretically take it and put some extra tortilla chips mm -hmm. on, on top, yeah. crunch them up on their Doritos or something. Make sure you stir crunch. it right away though. Don't let it sit, yeah. don't let it get this weird crust yeah. that we let it have happen while exactly. we were setting up. All right, so the sloppy Joe mac and cheese, I'm eat this more ugly of that. thing. Yeah, take, it, take another taste. So I will start this one out. Mm -hmm. um, this is, to me, this is the worst of the four of them. It's not bad at all, it just doesn't necessarily taste great. It tastes cheap. Yeah. So It doesn't taste chef inspired. Right. I would give that one maybe a three, and I definitely wouldn't pay the mm -hmm. money for it. Yeah, I would agree with the three rating. I will say, it does taste like sloppy joe. The yeah. more I eat it, the more I'm yeah. like, I mean, sloppy there's joe. there's a little bit to it. But maybe sloppy it's jane. another one that's kind of like the Velveeta hamburger helper stuff that we buy, you know, like, to yeah. me, that's an, a, a little bit higher quality than the regular Hamburger Helper, mm -hmm. but it tastes good to me, and it's better than this. So, yeah, I'd say no to the Sloppy Joe. <laughs> no, last, Joe! Like, yeah, no, Joe. Last but not least, the Sweet and Sour Pork Bowl. I think we're going to disagree on this one. I would say 6 out of 10. That was a say, weird aftertaste for me. I would say 7. I mean, honestly, I can't really decide which out of these three is mm -hmm. better than any of the other ones. Yeah. I just kind of like them all. They're actually better than I thought they were going to be. This one... I'm pleasantly surprised. We were going into this thinking, oh gosh, we're going to have yeah. to go get Arby's afterwards. Man. The sweet and sour pork bowl, it's not her favorite. You would definitely need to add something to it. Some peanuts or, you know, like she said. There's pictures of scallions or green onions and stuff on the box here. They didn't give you a little packet of that. I can tell you that right now. So... <laughs> Worth the money. Uh, mm -mm. The only the the saving grace thing that it does have to it is that it has way less calories than That's the other ones. Really, the only positive. This chicken enchilada one is five hundred and seventy. That's quite a bit for That's that. This one is four hundred or four ten. Sorry. So. So what I would say with that one though is you can buy a bag of that like frozen PF Chang's sweet and sour chicken, and I know it's chicken, not pork for six bucks. Yeah. Now, mind you, you have to add rice on top of it or noodles, but I feel like... Yeah. I guess if you're just, if you're looking depends. to take this to work with you and yeah. cook it in the break room and not have to worry about it, yeah, I'd get it. I mean, if you're having it at home as like, this is your <laughs> dinner tonight and you could like, theoretically doing... take some yeah. time and actually make something, then I'd probably just make it. Yeah. Because I don't know that any of these are worth the time or the money mm -mm. better than just kind of maybe doing it yourself but but i will that's say because i used to only ever do microwave meals for lunch at work the time that it takes to cook and then the flavor the quality the calorie count i would choose another option so right. that's just my opinion because 
I only get 30 minutes, sometimes not even that because students are coming in and I get interrupted. Yeah. Well, so you have the luxury of me making dinner the night before, you know, for I you do every have night a to be able to have leftovers. Yeah. And every meal that we make during the week, we make enough of it okay. so that she can have at least one extra serving yeah, to take I'm spoiled. So I know this. Um, some people just don't have that ability or they don't like to cook or That's if true. you're not That's a cook true. and you don't want to deal with it, all of these are better than expected. Yeah, Honestly. I would agree with so, that. They are better than we were expecting. Yeah. Since this is a smash, you want to just, I'll point to it and you tell me, mm -hmm, smash mm -hmm. or trash. Yep. Smash. 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 smash trash, trash. Trash. Smash. All right. Which we, were we close. I figured that we would be split yeah. on the last one. Yep. The more I eat that one, the more I like it. Yeah. These two are good, good for sure. This one is kind of up in the air and this one, <clears throat> no thanks. Maybe someday we'll get the Gordon Ramsay ones or the Andrew Zimmer Gordon, ones or so. something like that and try those, but I have a feeling that we're all gonna kind of get the same flavors out of all of them. And also one of the four things that Gordon Ramsay has is fish and chips. Fish and, and chips. And I, I mean, can okay. I can kind of sometimes dabble in fish and chips, but I don't like, think like microwave yeah, fish and chips yeah. is the best. If you're gonna idea. have fish sticks, like mm -mm. Okay, but those are going in the oven or they're going in the well, air fryer. You put a fish stick say, in the microwave, you're asking for trouble. I wonder if any of them would have air fryer or oven options. I think they're all just made to be microwaved. Ooh, fish so, and chips in the microwave. Yeah. If you take that to work, you're pissing off everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody hates you at that so, point. So, yep. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate all of you for doing those things, um, and we hope to see you next time. Deuces.